the, the rashes are here, or at least three of them. Yeah. So would would, would um, I think, and they are pre prepared to play play some uh, some tracks from a, a new a new EP, which I think is coming out in December. But they'll they'll explain that as, as we go along. Um, would would one of you just come and, uh, up and explain who's who's here today and who isn't yeah. here? Okay. So, so come, come a bit closer to this, okay. this mic. So today uh, we've got Harvey Young in the studio, who's who's the bass. Guitar. Hello there. <laughs> and uh, we also have Joseph Hall, saxophonist. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Jamie Rudd, that's me, and the lead singer. So I think I'll just get the the dates and the, and the, and what's what's going on out of the way. Um, you've got a show coming up at the Phoenix eighth eighth of December. That's right. <laughs> yeah, EP launch. So we're gonna. So we're. Where, whereabouts is that? So that'll be at the Voodoo Lounge, which is um, as you come in and you go up the stairs. It's, right. It's the, the studio there. And uh, yeah, we're very excited. 8th of December. Okay. We, we did one last year. Um, come, come, yeah, yeah. come, come, come on. We did one uh, in June last year for our last EP. Uh, and then this is, and then we spent most of the summer doing this one. Uh, and then this is the launch to get it out there. So it'd be cool. Okay. And. You're also uh, going to be in uh, in next to High Street, yeah. busking, yeah, for uh, the next three Saturdays. Yeah, so you'll be able to find us. Hopefully, we'll we'll get the spot just uh, next to Urban Outfitters under the big face. That's right. what we normally go for. So, if you're in town from like ten till one o'clock, then that's that's where we'll be on Saturday. Okay. Well, I think uh, just before we sort of set up set up the, the instruments and try try and get get the microphones to work and so forth. I'd, I'd just like to ask you a bit about the background, where the music's coming from. Because on Facebook you say like folk folk rock, jazz and pop. Mm. Yeah, all in, in, intertwined. And there's a lot of kind of acoustic stuff. But yeah, it's quite a mix really. Come a bit yeah, close to the yeah. mic and just explain, explain that a bit. Um, well, I think we've never really known what in the exact genre to, to call it. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's been a, a long-standing debate about how about, to define yeah, the genre, about whether it's a kind of acoustic-y sort of stuff or whether it's a bit more um, jazz-oriented. I think the best way to describe it is is that it's songs written on an acoustic guitar, or at least that's what it was originally, but then played with a whole band and including a saxophone, and. Yeah. Uh, um, but you know you'll hear later on, so I think you'll okay, have to. Okay, we might come. We might come back to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the the other thing I've noticed, um, one of you's playing with Spin Two at the moment. Yeah, that's me. Oh, that's you. Yeah, yeah. So I, saw, I think I saw you in the, in the high street. That's in that yeah. very spot that you hoped. That, that exact yeah. spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that's because Spin Two are actually my mum and dad. So Ali and Chris, who are the lead singer and the violinist, they're my mum and dad. Okay. Yeah. So, how different is it playing in that band to playing with the the Rushes? Completely different. Yeah, yeah. So, because I'm obviously I, I'm singing in the Rushes and I'm do, doing the frontman stuff. But uh, in Spin Two, I'm just playing the mandolin, and um, I'm doing backing vocals, and it's my dad who's singing. Okay. Mm. And the the other thing that I, you may not be able to explain, but mm -hmm. it just occurs to me, with with that band with a with a folk. Tradition, mm -hmm. the the fiddle is like a, a very important instrument. It sort of carries the melody, or it fills in, so forth. And in your in your in your band, it's the saxophone that's doing that. Is that well? I think we th sort of think of it as the saxophone replaces what a lead guitar might normally do. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a general kind of uh, uh, another melody to it. I think. Yeah, it kind of bounces off. It, there's definitely a kind of. Uh, yeah, I think a, a shared thing with the the lyrics and the sax. Are quite often um, different melodies, and but they correspond with each other. Mm. Um, so yeah. it's more like a guitar that's that's mixed in with the sound as it goes along. Yeah, I think. But the guitar is also there's a lot of kind of guitar solo stuff and guitar. No, um, no, no. I think he's saying that your saxophone takes the role of what. The lead oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do, yeah. So I'm the lead guitarist basically, but play it in the saxophone. Yeah, you okay. see what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah. That's, that, well, that's yeah. I haven't quite worked out how how it, well, well. We'll maybe come back yeah, to yeah, this yeah, way yeah. later on. <laughs> But it's yeah. not it's not like um, a sort of break for the saxophone in the middle of the song is a sort of instrumental. No, 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 that which, is how it goes normally. Yeah. But, you but, do, the, but you do that as, as well. Slightly, yeah, there are that. Like, there is that in terms of kind of there are solos as they kind of the sax lends itself well to a solo. But then there's there's also kind of backing stuff and 
uh, little jabs and, and kind of in the throughout the whole song. So and then also kind of it can, it can come into backing and almost works sometimes as a kind of uh, part of the texture, part of the texture, and a, almost a kind of harmony, but not harmony, but that sort of it has that sort of effect sometimes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good because it's. I I like I I like saxophone back again because it's yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's sort of vanished. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, J T, I think what, what, if you if you play if you play some tunes, okay, from, the, from your repertoire, come on, we'll try and set up the instruments. Okay. <laughs> That was Electric Fizz, which is off our old EP, which we did last year. Um, and that's a bit, yeah, but we haven't got the drums here today, so it's a little bit, it's all quite acoustic today. That's good. Yeah. But, no, but it, it works all right. Yeah, that's all right. It's good. Yeah. So tell us a bit about the about the new one that's coming out. Then. So the new one, uh, it's definitely different, I think. Uh, I don't know how they. What did you say? I said the songwriting's matured. Yeah. yeah, if I may say so myself, <laughs> since I okay. can't. Okay. But I think a lot of the songs um, I've realised quite recently are quite versatile in the sense that when we recorded them, they're they're definitely quite solid. They're really solid in themselves. But then when they're performed live, they there's something else, and they kind of take on a different kind of form. I think uh, there's a different kind of atmosphere. I think when we play them as a band, and um, and when we record it, if you see what I mean. Sure. So t did it take it to take a long time? So there seems to be a gap in your sort of presence in yeah. Exeter. You seem to have well, vanished we, for a bit. There was a lot of I think after I think after the last EP launch, and then we all kind of lost it a bit over the summer, and then it was all second year available. So there wasn't a lot of time really to get a lot done. And then over the past year leading up to this summer, um, we really did hardly anything at all because it was all kind of so full on. And then we've all been away over summer. But then we managed to get a week where we were all about over the summer, and then we basically just sat down and, and did it and um, recorded the whole thing. Recorded the whole thing in, in a week, and then and now sort of building up to the launch. To the yeah, month. now building up to the launch, we're sort of hoping to re-establish our presence a bit because we have dropped off the map somewhat, and uh, 
hopefully get, garner a bit of interest in uh, the rushes before the 8th of December. Yeah. The 8th of December? 8th of December. So yeah. are you selling tickets ahead through the... Yeah, you can Phoenix, buy them through the box office. Through yeah. the Phoenix box office? That's right. OK. We should be on the website pretty soon as well. OK, well, that's... That's all good. That's yeah, all good, right. yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. So are you going to play anything from the, the, the new material? Yeah, yeah, so our second song that we've got ready to play acoustically for you is is one of the sort of leading tracks from the new EP. OK, can I just check? JT, was the sound all right on the first time around? Yeah, it? sounds good. OK, <laughs> that's fine. Right, we're not going to change anything then. Okay, in this right. fabulous studio <laughs> here on Phonic FM. <laughs> 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 so, but to just introduce this, this track. Oh, okay. Oh, well, this is called Do You Remember? And um, we've got a music video coming out for it pretty soon. We were up by Stoke Cannon on Saturday filming. Getting covered in mud. Yeah. Um, filming, <laughs> our music, yeah filming our the new music video, which is uh, consists primarily of us rolling around in the mud in Stoke Cannon. Yeah, so just, uh, just watch our Facebook and uh, YouTube for that, which should be out in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's called Do You Remember? Do You Remember? Yeah. Okay. Oh, am I doing a lunar? Yeah, you okay, are. Right. <laughs> cool. All right, you could. Well, you better yeah. get it. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> When we move through shades of burgundy Do you remember the bongo moon The swinging lights of that smoky room I wanted to tell you, but you were too far gone Caught inside the rapture of the rhythm of the song I wanted to tell you, but words would never do When movement was the only way of talking that you knew so we dance, I don't really know to so know the truth That a dance is the only real thing that anyone can do Yeah, we dance, like only those who see the light The only time that's fit those of darkness is the night Through the cargoes of the city, lay on the purple car To the country where it's pretty, to the cornfields and the stars That rose from the carpet floor off our painted toes. Your linen drip figure will forever be reminder of the times gone past, preserved in memory. Your linen drip figure will forever be token to the beauty of the sweet insanity. And when we dance, like only those who know the truth, that a dance is the only real thing that anyone can do. Yeah, we dance like only those who've seen the light. That the only time that's fit for those of darkness is the night. For in every new horizon, to another day gone by, it's counting down the hours. We'd be washed up out of time. We knew it's what we had, yeah. We knew what we would find to taste another morsel of that terrifying fire. The rushes don't want to take your son fishing. They don't want to see photos of your baby. The rushes don't want to wear your dad's slacks. The rushes don't want to your ex back to phone boat because your hands are covered. Fat, they don't want to grease up the phone. The Russians don't want to brush your teeth. They don't want to braid your sister's hair. The Russians don't drink your kale smoothie and sell their souls to new labour again. The denizens of this seething underworld. We call you now with the muttering of trees. The Lambert alleys, the opium salons. Drag yourselves, snarling of phoenix to fill the streets with your flesh. Make a fumbling way to the door of that temple of sin, the Phoenix Art Centre. And join us, your masters, your servants, as we lay bare the fury, wretched pulp, and the squalid existence. So we dance. <laughs> like only those who know the truth. The dance is the only real thing that anyone can do. Yeah, we dance. Like only those who know the truth. Like only those who've seen the light and the only time that's been for those of darkness is the night For in every new horizon For another day gone by Just counting down the hours We'd be washed up and retired We knew just what we had, yeah And we knew what we required We tasted the boys That terrifying You've got 
got a, a rap version in there. <laughs> I've got well, more of a speech, I think. Oh, a speech, There's okay. A monologue. It was going to be. Um, yeah. Come on, come yeah, on, yeah. Come on, come on this way. We were left with a. Um, we were left with a break in the song, and because I already had a sax solo, we thought we'd put a, a, some sort of monologue in. So we, right. it was originally going to be uh, kind of like a quasi Shakespearean. It was going to be yeah. It was going to be this <laughs> yeah. uh, this Hamlet so, monologue. Right, right. Because yeah. you haven't spoken very much. Yeah. Before. What did What did you think the first, first idea was? Then? The first idea of the the well, speech. Well, yeah, the um, speech. Well, yeah. It was um, Joe had a this kind of. He's always had a penchant for Shakespeare, and then, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, he had that, and then we had the speech. But then um, it sounded like incredibly like middle class and posh, and we just sounded really stupid. So <laughs> we like we can't have this. This is just the worst thing. So um, we kind of like this I morning we changed yeah it. we changed it this morning actually because I um, I do like a lot of the Facebook posts. And I've kind of gone like. Oh, so you're the one who does that. I've kind of gone quite insane with like. So that, so that is like old album notes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And so we kind of just pulled stuff from that, like various things that I'd written, like the kind of recurring themes throughout, and then added a bit of Jamie's stuff that he'd written, and then also a bit of Jay's, and just kind of like came together, and now it kind of makes more sense. That's the new, um, yeah. the new speech. In the, the, the updated song. speech. Yeah, it's all good. So that's not. Like, <laughs> That's too late for the recorded version then? No, we're thinking we can get it on the recorded version. But we've oh. already done it, because we have already done it, but we're going to um, re-record it. There's we've been like five iterations speech. already. Yeah, so, yeah. so we're just going to oh. send it over and yeah. you can just pop it in, because it's oh, not right. that much of a... Yeah, okay. yeah it's yet yeah, to be mastered, so we're, we're, we're in good time to, yeah. to check it in. It's, it's all good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this um, new Labour thing, you. you, you <laughs> were, were, you, were you very concerned about it? I'm not. I'm just trying to work out how old yeah. you are and how old you were when new uh, Labour well, was at its I, I'm age zero. zero. <laughs> I mean, we're we're all eighteen. So so, I mean, so you do remember new Labour? Yeah. I mean, I, mean I remember from the womb. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. To be I fair. Think, uh, yeah. I've, we've all we're all quite uh, politically. Engaged though, I think. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I did yeah. politics at A level. Uh, <laughs> 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 much politically about, engaged. Yeah, politically engaged. Yeah. Yeah. One of us yeah. did politics at A level. Yeah, I was yeah. yeah. a member of the Labour Party. Yeah, my, my membership expired though. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> were you lying when you said that you were in? No, I have gone. Right? Yeah. Oh. yeah. But yeah, no, the, the whole Tony Blair thing is just a bit of fun, really. I mean, I'm definitely not Tony Blair's biggest fan, and it's just quite funny, so I just say it. I got this stuff. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so my, my, it's not going to be heavily political any of your chats. Really. No, 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 no. No, there's no. just one little. We're, we're just not there yet. Just a little bit of yeah, yeah. A little bit of new Labour. Yeah. There. there is one actually that's quite. What was that one you wrote a while ago? Oh, uh, angry people. Angry people, that's quite a political. Yeah, well, we, we don't play that one so much anymore, but no. I think it's probably somewhere that we could. That's quite a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. dabbled. Dabbled in politics. Yeah, there's a, little, yeah, there's a couple yeah. of little references here and there. Uh, here and there. Yeah. Here and there. So, if you've done your A levels, are you, are you all going to disappear in different directions? Is um, that one of your problems? Not necessarily. Well, I mean, that is definitely a, some kind of. Well, yeah. Issue. I mean, realistically, we would want to leave Exeter at some point. But, um, like, Joe's. I'm, yeah, I'm doing an art foundation course for this yeah. year, uh, but I'm studying at Totnes, so okay. I'm st but I'm still living in Exeter. Um, yeah. And then Jamie and Harvey are uh, just living the life. Really. Just living the life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, okay. Yeah, <laughs> dilly dallying about in Exeter. Yeah. Right. It's good, so you're not going to disappear again? Well, I'm not sure. You see, cause well, I think not this year necessarily. I don't think we'll disappear. The drama the is the going to uni next year. year. Yeah. So, yeah. But, well, um, I mean, I'm applying for various places to go and do music, but then. For me, like I'd much rather be doing this than that, you know. So I'd much rather be doing so rushes than <laughs> studying music at some old institution, you know. Right. So, yeah. so for me, like my priority is to get the rushes into a position where I can really work at it, and we can like take it somewhere. Okay. So there's at least six months, maybe a year. Yeah. 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 No. There's, no, there's, there's life in the old dog. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that sounds yeah. right. And you've got a, you've got an EP coming up. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. I think we're going to try and push it and um, yeah, see what happens for the next year. Yeah. We really want to be getting festivals over the summer and gigs around Exeter and just expanding our um, empire. Because we kind yeah. of fell off the map a bit because like we used to do loads of gigs. We used to seem like we had a gig every like two weeks for a period of time. It was just like. We did so much, and they ran an exit, and then we kind of. I think it was mainly. I then we kind of fell off the map, and now. Yeah. It's I think like A was definitely had a part of it. Yeah, yeah. Because we all were busy, and um, so we didn't have that much time to rehearse and stuff, and then busking, yeah. 
Yeah. So, so yeah, just re-establish what we used to do. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I would, yeah. I would I would think if you if you're going to be busking three Saturdays in a row. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that should assuming build you up can get the get again. the pitch, which you probably yeah. will. Yeah. Well, you can always go outside my gaze if it's. Well, uh, that's true. It's busy. Yeah. So you're going to be somewhere in the high street on a Saturday yeah. afternoon. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. roughly what sort of time? So probably think? from around ten till one. Ten till one. Yeah, to get five. To I start work at one. <laughs> oh right. <Okay. laughs> so ten o'clock first. Yeah, yeah. First yeah. Thing. yeah. So we'll be down there in, in early morning, but um, right. which means we might get good spots there. So that's true. If we're down there earlier, right? Okay. Rather than rocking up at two o'clock, which is what we used to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting cross because our favourite spot had been nabbed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, the there's, 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 yeah. There's, there's more stuff I'd like to talk, but. Do you, that, you don't you don't need to play any m- more music you don't, you don't we've got um, we got we could do one more song but we we'd much rather play some recorded stuff like oh, maybe okay. a track from R.E.P. okay yeah Harvey's yeah. got his hard, hard drive yeah I've got the tunes oh right so okay so well, well, yeah. JT would you would you play would you play something else from your repertoire yes and we'll sort out sort, out. sort out some recorded music <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was Echo and the Bunny Men. <laughs> My name's Jamie Rudd from The Rushes, and this next track will be Can't Look You in the Eye, which is the first track of our new EP, which we'll be releasing at the Phoenix on the 8th of December. I can't look you in the eye all I see is a mash, media disguise It's sexy but it's sad Don't let the supermodels make you feel bad Deeper on the floor Through the dancer's feet Find that you want more The riot crowd are calling Your self-control is falling you're not complete Like a deer caught in the headlights you No, know it's on its way Your instincts tell you leave Something makes you stay The thought of it's enticing And it won't go away Your instincts tell you leave Save it for another day See them circling, you can tell that they adore They like the way you're moving Your heels have started bruising Is this what you're looking for? A couple more drinks down the line And the clock's no longer telling you the time And all around the heaving You stare up and he's leaving would it be a crime? Like a deer caught in the headlights You know it's on its way Your instincts tell you leave Something makes you stay The thought of it's enticing And it won't go away Your instincts tell you leave Save it for another day As the taxi pulls up, is it time to fly? Your stomach started churning, you wonder if you're yearning for this kind of guy. Like a deer caught in the headlights, you know it's on its way. Your instincts tell you leave, something makes you stay. The thought of it's enticing. And it won't go away Your instincts tell you leave Save it for another So that was Can't Look In The Eye which is the first track uh, off of our new EP and then this one is Bergamore Pine which is, uh, yeah, quite a groovy one uh, It has a choral section 
<laughs> towards the end. <laughs> Outside of life, I know I'll never be a part of up on Roman Hill. A strange mist brings the start of a reverie in smell and in vision and in sound. The mist is unobtrusive, yet the mist is all around. The car found from the tea, walking up towards this driveway scene. Captured by the story of the scent It's like wood smoke, but it's sweeter It brings clarity of mind Bergamot or pie Soft barbecue lime Mingling in the doldrums Or the tingle in my spine Disturbingly sublime Side of a droplet, and the moisture is complete. The trees around suspended, and I'm branded on my feet. Highest point in town, yet the mist remains unbroken. I see for miles around, yet for now the view is frozen. I think I found profundity. Walking up towards this driveway scene Captured by the story of the scent It's like the smoke, but it's sweeter It brings clarity of mind Bergamot or pie Soft barbecue lime Mingling in the doldrums Or tingle in my spine Disturbingly sublime and There are people my age laughing I think I'm out of luck Because the bell begun is great It brings clarity of mind Bergamo or pie Soft barbecue lime Mingling in the doldrums of Tingle in my spine Disturbingly sublime um, Yeah, so that was Bergamo or pine from a new, uh, I don't know which number that is on the this track two. This track two, number two. two. Yeah, I'll find the latest EP. Okay. So what what I'd like to ask you partly is um, about social media, uh, copyright, the streaming, all of those things. Yeah. Whether you're concerned. So if if for example we put this complete radio show onto Spreaker. No, that's fine. That, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. We've got no. Yeah. We don't yeah. really care. We're <laughs> 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 but as long as it's as long as like I mean. Because we've got we've got two tracks then. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. But there's three other tracks. Maybe. There are three. Other, well, we've got. So we're going to play so another one now. Play all of it. Yeah. Well, no. Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We haven't. I mean, it's not exactly. We've already sold out for the cash. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. We. Um, well, that's all right. Then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We. I mean, it's, there's no kind of. It's just we've recorded it in a. We recorded it in a. Um, in a. Uh, in a broken mill. In a broken <laughs> down, in a mill. Uh, in the uh, the um, Exwick mill, which was great. But um, so, it's, but but what I'm saying is, it's not. There's no kind of official 
stamp no, no, on it. There's no, no record there, label behind it. No, no, like, no, 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 so, so <laughs> no you can do what you want right. with it, yeah. Right, and if people like it, they can come. Yeah. We, we ought to mention the date again. Oh yeah, 8th of December at Exeter Phoenix. Doors at 8. Doors at 8. Be Doors there. at 8. <laughs> um, four pounds, five, five pounds. pounds. Five pounds. Five pounds. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys. Right. Yeah, okay. five pounds, but doors at 8. you can buy tickets in advance. Yeah, you can buy tickets in advance, box office, and then you should be able to buy it through the website by, I don't know, like next week. It should be. Well, it'll be up on the website pretty soon. Yeah, and we got we got support from a band called Mono. Yeah, they're very good. A college band. Yeah, um, uh, who we know yeah. from uh, from college. <laughs> 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 they're, they're like 16, 17 They play. Um, I think this is going to be their first gig actually. So really, so yeah, no, they're cool. They've, they've got a good sound. Yeah, kind of like they're pretty groovy. Americana. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Americana. It's not Americana. No. Well, a bit. But it's quite. It's no, no but people should get there early. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah, so don't. Yeah, it's worth seeing the sport definitely. Doors at eight, and then we'll be on. I don't know when we'll be on. Probably about nine. Nine o'clock. Yeah, but we don't want to tell you that because you want to come at eight. Because you want to see mono. Because you want to see mono, and it'd be okay. cool. Yeah, well, and um, one, yeah. Well, I think we we ought to move along because. The, the, yeah, 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 the next sure. show will be here at twelve, so I, I, we, ought, we ought to be sort of packing up by about half past, I think. Yeah. Um, but I, I just ask, if, so if, you, if you're thinking about folk, folk rock, jazz, and pop, uh, as a, is the saxophone direction coming more from jazz? Um, well, to an extent, I mean, I did, like on my own, I play mostly kind of jazz with my kind of, and I do grades and stuff. But when I'm playing on my own, that's mainly what I spend most of my time doing. Um, no, but the jazz comes mostly from the, the chords. Yeah, changes. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, Joe is definitely. But I'm not that. Rude. I'm not that jazzy though. When it no, comes but to like I think you play Zazen quite. A, um, can't be quite unique. You play it in a unique way in the sense that um, it's kind of. Does melt. it come from like a tradition? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just basically just like your own personality. Yeah. Is cool. all it can be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. So There's a lot of funk in there as well from the bass. Funky boy, <laughs> funky boy. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, so it's sort of a, it's acoustic and sort of relaxing, but danceable in, at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the live sounds very different. I think we we have a more energy on stage. Yeah, Obviously definitely. Obviously, we have more energy on stage, and we. I mean, the aim is to to for it to be as it's a performance yeah, as well. As it's possible, a, really, so. It is a very weird mix of a number of different factors and influences that make the rushes but that's kind of what makes it good I think if it is good we hope so it makes it what it is yeah because yeah, yeah. like the, the rhythm section is largely like like quite it's, really it's not funk but like it's definitely danceable it's really driven yeah it's, yeah it's kind of and then there's kind of like the wholesome song it's quite, quite bizarre <laughs> like playing the country yeah. songwriting <laughs> and then like the just the sax it's just it is, it's a nice mix yeah. It's a, yeah it's good yeah Okay. Well, are, are, are the audience can make their own mind up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. Have, we'll have another track uh, from JT's repertoire. Massive system. Yeah. <laughs> from the decks. And then we'll have one more live track. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And then so we'll start packing up because the good, the bad, and the ugly will be here. Right. Twelve o'clock. All right. three of them. All three of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on her own Three numbers on a phone Floating across the room Come down girl, come back to you Another place Tired looks on every face Mother, must we go? This house has always been my home Leave it all behind All the things 
things I know and all the things that I call mine. She said, I'm sorry, love, there is no other way. I'm scared of what tomorrow brings, but you know you just can't stay. That was She Said off the new EP. Oh. Well, thank, thank you. Um, just for people who have only just tuned in, these are at least three of the rushes. There's no drummer. Yeah, the drummer's the missing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the, the drummer will be there on, what was the date again? Dece- 8th, 8th of December. 8th of December. Uh, here at the Phoenix. Upstairs at the Phoenix. It's going to be a wild night. It's going to be a wild, wild night. It's going to be the best night of your life. It's going to be debaucherous. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the one thing we forgot to mention, the Spin, Spin 2 have got a gig soon. Oh, yeah. So they'll be playing at the Bowling Green uh, this Saturday. So starting about nine, if you're about. Mm. Woo! Okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, look, thank, thanks a lot for coming in. Yeah, yeah thanks for having us. Because uh, we, we, we have been playing your first EP. Have you? We no, have. How did you get that? Oh, it's just there. A gig. A we gig. Oh, wow. we, went, we went to a gig. I thought that was lost in like the, the sands of time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 no, the second, that's the second one. That's Actually, yeah, there, there, oh, was, a, there was an the unknown one. first EP oh, oh, yeah, right, that we've right. never really done anything with. Yeah, oh, but, um, it, was oh, bit, it was a bit ropey. Oh, so, <laughs> so this is the third one? Yeah, we're releasing the yeah. third EP, actually. Oh, right, the trilogy. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we'll try and hunt down the first one. Oh, yeah. good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, There's not many of them about. Yeah. And, and hope, hope you come again. Well, yeah. we, might, we might see you ex- extra high street the, the next three Saturdays. That's right, yeah. Before one o'clock. Before, before yeah. one o'clock, before so Joey has to go to work. Before I have to go to work. Okay. <laughs> so, maybe early. Yeah. It has to be early. Well, yeah, early. so it'll be about 10 ish, probably 10 to 11, 12, and then one, yeah. We'll be stopping at one, probably, but then, um, well, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, okay. Okay, well, that's great. Hello. I'd just like... Chris, have you got a microphone? I do. Um, I'd just like to say we couldn't fit a drum kit in here as That's well. That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would have been quite a, <laughs> been quite a squeeze. Yeah, it would. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been very loud. 
We'll take the studio to the next to High Street. I think. Yeah. I think that's the solution. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you wanted to get rid of the floor and the ceiling. Yeah. Well, now you're yeah. on to the studio. <laughs> well, I think that's right. I think that's what we've got to do. I can see the management might complain about that. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't well, be happy with that. Well, they? I don't know. It's got, it's, it can all be done in the edit. That's true. <laughs> but, yeah. but anyway, we'll let JD move us back into the 80s yeah. and uh, sort the studio out, ready for the next lot. <coughs> <coughs>